923 now. Weston Scythoff is here from Workforce Solutions. He's talking about two recent reports that have been released. One concerns uh, college majors with the highest unemployment rate. But on the flip side, we have some good news, too. Uh, another highlights Austin's industries that are hiring in right. big numbers. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with, I guess, the bad news. Okay. We'll end on a light note. How okay. about that? We'll start with the bad news. Yeah. Um, what was it? Was it Workforce Commission? It was Huffington Post. Yep. Um, had 11 college majors that yep. are just not hiring right now. Yeah, we're talking about unemployment rates that are above 10%. Um, some up to 16% for some of these uh, majors. Yeah. Um, the common ones are um, psychology. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, there's a lot know, of clinical psych psychology, uh -huh. there's organizational psychology, educational psychology. Uh -huh. So basically, if you want to go into psychology, you better make sure that you are one of the best in your field because there's just not a lot of opportunities there. Um, and also we saw things like, um, you know, fine arts, history, literature, and things like that. It's kind of things we already knew. Liberal, liberal arts aren't always the best pathway into a career. It can be, uh, mm -hmm. especially if you're really good at what you do. You've got a very specific skill set that you want to uh, that you want to market. Um, but generally, in our economy, um, the more technical your major, yeah, the better. More skills. Mm -hmm. The more skills, and the you know the more the things that are tied to what are the drivers of our economy, which are software development, high tech manufacturing, healthcare. Um, HR, things like that. Do you think that the career counselors or the advisors over at major universities, even down to community colleges, are telling their students this? I would hope so. We, we try as a, as a workforce development agency to have those kind of conversations with our local educators, mm -hmm. make sure that they're aware of these trends so that they can give the right advice. Right. We work really close with ACC, um, and so I, I think that they hear the message, whether or not they actually are passing it on to their students, you know, we have no control yeah, over, but we, we sure. hope so. Uh, you know, just as a UT alum, I was reading recently uh, that some of the liberal arts majors have been canceled. Really? Yes. Um, one of them was, um, oh goodness, it had to do with Vampires, study of vampires, <laughs> because we just had a professor wow. uh, that studies and researches, you know, the literature be behind um, vampires is telling really? me about this. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? So some of those, you know, right. the fine arts, they've just canceled those majors yeah. and um, they're not going to go. Okay, let's go get to the good news here. Okay. Um, and then we also have Workforce Commission that said, all right, these are the, the um, areas in Austin yep. that we are seeing spikes in job growth. Yeah, these are not necessarily job growth. These are top job listings. Listings, okay. So maybe they've Pardon grown, me. maybe they're just... Um, so, uh, for example, registered nurses, they've yeah. been a top demand occupation for our area for at least the last five to ten years because we just don't have enough. Yeah. It's a persistent need. Um, web developers and, and software engineers, those are growing, and there's actually a shortage right now in Austin, um, and, and it's mainly due to a lot of the new kind of technologies with um, smartphones and apps and inter a lot of more interactive right. software and different niche softwares and, and different kind of customizable software. So, the, so those are those are really um, in demand right now. If you've got a, a degree in computer engineering or some kind of software engineering, um, you're in good shape. You're in good shape yeah. here in the Austin area. Mm -hmm. And we've always been a techie area. Right. And in the past, it was more manufacturing uh -huh. and semiconductors, and now it's moving more into software publishing and development of applications. Um, also, retail I'm looking at. Yeah, um, there are a lot of marketing managers, sales, mm -hmm. retail, um, some drivers and some computer, computer programmers again. Um, I think if you look at uh, if you look at trends in the Austin area, you want to look at um, healthcare is growing. Yeah. Um, you look at retail is growing. Construction is actually growing right now. It's not on this list, but uh, the, the construction industry as a whole has been growing the last year. Um, and leisure and hospitality, which is your service jobs, um, okay. which again is not going to be on this list, but are going to be um, a lot of a you know, options for people there. So Weston is over at Workforce Solutions. We have the locations and the link uh, to their locations on myfoxaustin.com. The good news is there are opportunities out there. There are. And uh, if you don't have the degree or the education behind it, there are skills classes and resources you can find at Workforce Solutions to kind of yep. help you uh, kind of etch out that, that path. Find your pathway. Perfect. Yep. Thanks. Thanks, Weston. And we'll be right back.